intuitive breed, very intelligent and intuitive. They know what you're thinking before you think it. They're very peaceful dogs. Uh, I just think they're a fabulous breed to live with, quite different to a lot of other breeds. They originate from Lhasa in Tibet and they were the hearing dogs of the Tibetan monks within the monasteries. So they have very acute hearing and they would hear somebody coming many miles away and they would bark and let the Tibetan Mastiffs, which were the outside guard dogs, know that somebody was coming. And these can be a little bit like that at times. Don't particularly like strangers, but they're not yapping. They're not a yappy breed. They're a little bit wary of strangers and choosy about who they make friends with. So if you have a very busy household, they may not be the ideal dog for you. But they're a compact dog and in the right environment do make an ideal family pet. They're not specifically bothered about lots and lots of exercise. I think a nice garden is nice for them and you could even just go and play in the garden or if the owner really likes walking, they will like walking and walk with you or if you want to go and play over the field with them, they would love that too. It depends on the individual but they're not like a, a, a larger breed that does need lots of exercise. They grow up with children, like most dogs, and get used to the children. The children are well monitored by adults, which they should be when around puppies and dogs. Then they get, them, get on absolutely fine. They love children. I've got grandchildren, and mine love the grandchildren. Um, they get on well with other dogs. Um, they, they just think, oh, well, they're other dogs, and pass them by, really. They're a bit snooty. <laughs> When I'm thinking of a Lhasa Apso, the first thing I'm going to think about is its early training and getting it used to being handled. It's got a lot of coat that's going to need a lot of grooming. So you need to get your puppy used to having its face, its paws, its back end, all of it handled in a really nice manner. And you need to find a groomer that does it like that as well. So you want a groomer that will allow you to take your puppy in, get used to the environment and handle with lots and lots of positive reinforcement. You want grooming to be a fabulous experience because it's going to be groomed for a long time. The Lhasa Apso is designed to withstand the cold temperatures in Tibet, so they have a very dense coat which can require a good deal of grooming if it's to be kept in good condition. People have them as a pet and they want to um, grow their hair long. There is a lot of work involved in keeping this hair beautiful like this, but they can be trimmed into what we call a puppy trim and they look really pretty, uh, they're eternal puppies then and it, they're, they're, it's easier to keep but they still do need grooming attention even if they're trimmed they still need bathing quite regularly and they still need grooming quite regularly as the coat does not up There has been a health issue identified over the last 20 years uh, a, an eye problem that's called pro-retina atrophy. Um, very few dogs have, have ever been found to have it, but it is wise for people to have their dogs tested. Um, and a lot of, well, most of the top breeders would have their dogs eye tested. I've owned last rapsos for about 20 to 25 years. They're just so nice to live with, very happy dogs.